routine blood pressure assessment is to be undertaken manually. Now an automated vital sign equipment is to be used only if the patient requires more frequent observation, the patient is in critical care unit, if manual observation equipment is temporary unavailable, the patient is recovering from a general anesthetic, and if the patient is in an outpatient department and is clinically well. Now the normal baseline blood pressure is 120 millimeter of mercury for systolic and 80 millimeter of mercury for diastolic. Anything above systolic of 130 millimeter of mercury and below diastolic of 80 millimeter of mercury requires close monitoring and increase in frequency check. Always follow the hospital or facilities clinical emergency response system. Now to check for a manual blood pressure, make sure to confirm that the patient is well rested and have not had any physical activity for the last 20 minutes or so and remove any restrictive clothing. Make sure to choose the appropriate blood pressure cuff because cuffs that are too narrow for the size of the, the limb will result in a falsely elevated blood pressure. Conversely, cuffs that are too large for the size of the limb will result in a falsely low blood pressure measurement. Now the placement of the cuff should be two to three centimeter above your cubital fossa. And the artery marker should be in line with your brachial artery. If it's the first time you're looking after a patient, it's always good to check the initial systolic blood pressure. Now you can check it by feeling the radial pulse and inflating the cuff until the radial pulse cannot be felt anymore. Now gradually release or deflate the cuff until you feel the radial pulse. Now this point represents the systolic blood pressure. Place the diaphragm of the stethoscope over the brachial pulse and inflate to 30 millimeter of mercury higher than the initial systolic blood pressure. Then deflate to, two, to three millimeter of mercury per heartbeat. You will hear the Korovkot sounds to determine your systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure. Now the SBP is the highest point at which the initial tapping or the Korovkov phase one is heard in two consecutive bits during exhalation. Now the DPP is equated with the disappearance of your Korovkov sounds. The blood pressure that you've taken is then immediately to be charted on your observation chart. And that's how you check your manual blood pressure. Now to learn more about your OSCE, make sure to subscribe and enroll at AURN Pathway.